Okay, so welcome back. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go through the steps and uh, a problem solving strategy, right, for finding the absolute extrema uh, over a closed interval. And then we'll do um, an example. Okay, so here's the steps. Again, we're considering a continuous function over a closed interval. Key is that this is a closed interval and we're dealing with a continuous function. Um, so the closed interval a comma b. One, evaluate the function at the endpoints. First thing you can do. Now again, you could do steps one and two in different order, but uh, step one, always check the endpoints. Okay. So easy, just evaluate f at the endpoints of x equals a and x equals b. So find what those values are. And then two, find all of the critical points over the interval, the open interval a b and evaluate the function at those critical points, okay? Then, in step three, you're gonna take all of the values you found in steps one and two, and you're gonna compare them. And, of course, the largest value is of those values, the largest one is going to be the maximum, right? The absolute maximum. And the smallest value is going to be the absolute minimum. And that's it. That's really all there is to it. So we'll come back and do an example, and remember, just keep practicing. If you get stuck, let me know.